Good morning and welcome to Kathy's Corner Seed in the Sand. This is chapter 10 of Ants and Volleyballs. And ants means um, automatic negative thoughts. And today I kind of want to talk about um, automatic negative thoughts that come when we're angry. Um, and I did a practice last night um, where it was an art therapy practice where we um, colored our anger. We took our anger out in our coloring. And um, they, the, the art therapist said, you know, say what you're feeling. And we were, you know, kind of like, it was kind of uncomfortable feeling so angry. It was uncomfortable for me because it's not something that I normally verbalize your anger, your angry thoughts. And so I was saying, oh, I don't deserve this. I don't deserve this. I don't deserve this. I don't deserve this. And it's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. And very, in a very angry voice. And um, I'm trying to think of some of the other thoughts that came into my head that just, you know, you don't, I didn't deserve that. Um, I didn't deserve that. And, um, you shouldn't have done that to a little girl, um, whether that's my parents or, or, um, siblings or relatives or whoever, you know, the judgment and the, and the pain that they've inflicted on a little kid, um, it all came out in, in this practice that we did. And, um... And then we ripped up the, the paper that we, we made sure there was no white marks left on the paper and then um, ripped it up into little pieces. And that represented um, kind of like the end of those angry thoughts or those anger, the anger that we were expressing as we were releasing that anger into our into our picture and I thought that was a great practice and then you know from those little pieces of paper that we rip it into um, we took glue sticks and made a new picture um, from that anger um, into more of a transformation uh, you know that kind of that transformation card of the death card of you know it's a death of um, one thing and it transforms and reverts into something greater and um, so I thought that was a really great practice that we did and that might be something that you could practice at home um, just take crayons crayons are probably best because you can really um, press down hard and we broke a lot of crayons last night and um, um, oil pastels, I believe she used, um, they worked really well. It was, it was really a beautiful picture in the end. Um, and, uh, so yeah, so I want to thank her for that art therapist for sh showing me how to release your anger like that. And when you have that flooding of those angry thoughts, um, that would be, you know, good, even with the, the negative thoughts that we've been talking about. Um, just kind of, oh, you just, just get it out, um, and express yourself in words and, and then, um, rip it up and, and make it into something really beautiful. So, um, so yeah, so that was my practice last night that I thought I would share with you. Um, and that was kind of relating to negative thoughts, you know, that flooding of, those uncontrollable thoughts that kind of flood us. And, um, yeah, so I hope that helps you. So, all right. Oh, and look what's on the bottom. It's the death card. That transformation, the death of the old to reborn, uh, to, to give a rebirth to the new. Um, perfect, perfect card to, to have on the bottom. So we will see what we uh, get today for our intention of just releasing this chapter.
coming into a new chapter, um, releasing the old and rebirthing into something greater. All right. So it is the Queen of Cups, my mom card. Um, that nurturing um, cups are the abundance, um, the the ever flowing of abundance and joy and happiness and and love and caring and nurturing and yeah. So that's just beautiful. I think those are two beautiful cards. Um, to get together um, while we talk about the end of this chapter. I think this was a really important chapter for me um, to remember those volleyballs coming at you. They don't have to be um, negative anymore. Um, they don't have to be angry anymore. We can release that and we can get that out and we can make that positive. So. All right, I hope you have a great day and we will talk to you tomorrow.